Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Class 9. We are discussing the different organelles present inside the cell. And especially these organelles are present inside the eukaryotic cell because prokaryotic cell lay all these membrane bounded organelles. So these are the structures present in the uh, eukaryotic cell and uh, some of the organelles is, uh, are already discussed and uh, this is the next organelle which is known as endoplasmic reticulum represented by ER endoplasmic reticulum the structure is uh, given here this is uh, the structure which is made up of channels you can see that the channels are interconnected with each other and these interconnected channels or tubes are known as endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum attach at one side with the nucleus, nuclear membrane and the other side with the cell membrane. One end is always attached with the nuclear membrane and the other end is always attached with the cell membrane or plasma membrane. There are two types exist in two forms you can also see in the structure that uh, here this part this these channels are granular means small granules or ribosomes are present uh, in the structure of uh, endoplasmic reticulum attached uh, with its structure and that's why this form is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum while this form having no granular bodies having the smooth uh, appearance and this that is why it is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so this is uh, always found in these two forms and the function of these two as the structure is different so the function is also different rough endoplasmic reticulum is attached with the ribosome and that's why it is involved in the protein synthesis in the formation of the protein along with the ribosome while the smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, responsible for the transport of the material from the nuclear membrane toward the plasma membrane as it attaches at one end with the nucleus and the other end with the plasma membrane so it transport material in and out um, of the cell it also uh, responsible for the lipid metabolism lipid breaking lipid uh, formation so this is responsible for the lipid metabolism sometime lipids are formed and sometime lipids are broken down here it is also responsible for the detoxification detoxification means to destroy the toxic material to uh, diminish the effect of the harmful material toxic material means harmful material so if uh, there uh, is some harmful material chemicals entered in the cell it de detoxify that material it will uh, diminish uh, finish the effect of the uh, harmful material so it is responsible for the uh, detoxification of harmful material inside the cell our next uh, uh, organelle in the cell is the golgi apparatus are also known as golgi complex and uh, uh, the scientist given here is the camilo golgi uh, who for the first time introduced these bodies these complex these apparatus that is why it's known as golgi bodies golgi complex or golgi apparatus these are actually the tubes which are stacked upon each other these are the tubes also the channels which are stacked upon each other and they are present in the plant in the animal cell both and they are also known as uh, packing bodies packaging bodies they are associated with the wo work of the packing they pack the material that comes from the rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum means we already discussed that that uh, reticulum is involved in the process of protein synthesis so the protein sometime when formed 
there it then uh, transported toward these vesicles uh, these uh, uh, channels in the form of the vesicle as for example these are the proteins so they are in the form of the vesicles small rounded bodies they come toward this uh, uh, tubes or channels or operators when these tags are combined they are known as operators or complex and then and, and these channels each channel is known as cisternae each channel each tube is known as cisternae and when cisternae combine they form the golgi operators so vesicle coming from the rough endoplasmic reticulum fuse with one phase and then it move in the different channels and then at last it come out from the other phase now the two type of the product normally release from the second phase of the uh, golgi operators one is the product that is used for uh, that is uh, for internal use so that material is packed inside these channels and then it is transported toward the other area uh, in, in the safe manner having no enzymatic action while uh, some of the material which is considered to be extra then it is in the packed form uh, transported toward the cell membrane plasma membrane and then by the process of diffusion it come out from the cell so basically these uh, uh, complex uh, apparatus are involved in the transport of the material from one part of the cell to the other part sometime for the use sometime for the secretion but it pack the material so that enzyme cannot work or react on that material the next organelle is the lysosome and lysosomes are first time introduced by the scientist uh, D. Duff, and the picture of the scientist is given here. That this is the scientist who introduced first time the body and about the function of the lysosome. This is the function of the lysosome. That how lysosomes are formed and how it function in the cytoplasm. A very important organelle. Only single membrane is surrounding. and internal to the membrane there is present uh, chemicals especially the strong digestive enzymes and this lysosome normally come out from the golgi operators as we already know that enzymes that can work in the cell for the for the use that packed inside the golgi bodies and then it arise in the cytoplasm when it arise from the golgi body at that time it is known as primary lysosome because at that time it have only enzymes inside it and outer single membrane when this primary lysosome engulf any targeted material targeted material mean ke that material which is to be digested inside the cell when that targeted material is engulfed by primary lysosome it then becomes secondary lysosome along with the targeted material it become secondary lysosome inside this lysosome enzymes work on targeted material and it is digested the material which is required to the cell is diffused into the cell while the material which is not required are extra so that material is then expelled out of the cell sometime it digest the uh, required material inside the cell and sometime it has also used for the detoxification that material which is not required to the cell which is considered to be harmful so all the uh, lysosome fuse with that material and destroy that and then uh, excrete it from the cell so these lysosomes are all, all uh, also known as uh, suicide bags because they uh, pour all the enzymes on the targeted material and then the stri its structure it fuses with the plasma membrane and material is gone out so it destroys itself 
for the detoxification process. That's why these structures are also known as suicide bags. Next organelle is the centriole. Centriole is the organelle which is present only in the animal cell and it lags from the plant cell. This centriole is made up of special uh, protein which is known as tibulin protein and already we know about tibulin protein that it combine and form the structure of the microtubule. Microtubules are cylindrical structures and they combine and form the structure centriole. As the structure given here that one centriole is made up of nine microtubule triplet. These are the nine microtubule triplet. When it combine, they form one centriole. In animal cell, two centrioles are present and they combinedly known as centrosome. The function of which is the formation of the spindle fibers in during the cell division. During the cell division, chromosome need to move from one place to another. So for that, sometime uh, to contract and sometime to expand. For that special fibers are known uh, as uh, spindle fibers uh, needed so these centriole form those fibers and sometimes as we already discussed in the microtubule or cytoskeleton the microtubule also responsible for the formation of the cilia and flagella of some cells the last uh, organelle of the cell is the vacuole vacuole is a single membrane structure Big vacuole, single vacuole is present in the plant while in the plant cell and uh, while in the animal cell, uh, small vacuoles are present. Responsible for the storage of the material, some material is stored inside the vacuole and sometimes some vacuole are responsible for the elimination or excretion of the waste material from the cell and those vacuole are known as contractile vacuole. And in plants, they have a very important role uh, 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 in maintaining the turgidity because when it it is full of water, it is full of material, it swells and it gives strength and support to the plant cell. So this is the last topic of the last organelle of the eukaryotic cell. And after this, uh, difference is given between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, and which is to be studied by you people yourself having no problem same comparison is given in this topic between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell